Good day, everyone. My name is Pastor Ekitu Tzidoma, I'm your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Today, we shall be looking at powerful prayer for your pastor. Yes, powerful prayer for your pastor. Hallelujah. A lot of Christians receive prayers from their pastors, but very few pray for their pastors. A lot of Christians receive prayers daily for from their pastors, but very few Christians understand that they need to pray for their pastor. The pastor is always praying for people. The pastor is always blessing people. The pastor is always doing midnight prayers for members. The pastor and, and the truth is that many pastors are doing these things free of charge. Not every pastor charges people to pray for them. Some pastors are shepherd indeed. They pray for you for free. They do everything for you for free. They even call you their fastings and prayers. They do all manner of things. They travel for you. And when something evil happens to you, they, they mourn with you. But most members don't take for a second. Don't, my pastor, is it, will he not have a need? Oh, who will encourage my pastor? Oh, who will pray for him? Oh, who will deliver him from temptation? When a pastor falls into sin, everybody is quick to say, Oh, see him. He calls himself a pastor. Look at what he did. Fake pastor. This, that, 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 that. But they don't know that even the pastor needs prayers. The same temptation you are going through every day is the same temptation your pastor goes through. Your pastor is as human as you are. The same flesh you have, he has the same flesh. And he's always praying for you. You should also pray for him. Praise the Lord. When you pray for your pastor, it is a strong wisdom from the Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praying for your pastor is a strong and a real wisdom in the realm of the Spirit. When you pray for your pastor, God values you a lot because you are praying for the prophet of God. And the Bible says, He that accepts the prophet, you know, the prophet will receive a prophetic reward. Praise the Lord. Most people don't care about their pastors, they only care what they get from him. Oh, lay hands on me. Oh, bless all for me. Oh, pray for my family. Oh, pray for my children. Oh, pray for my this. Oh, pray for my that. And there is nothing wrong with it. But the truth about the pastor, the matter is who will pray for the pastor? Who will encourage the pastor? Yes, the pastor has learned to encourage himself in the Lord, but who will also pray? He's praying against the demons that are fighting you. Now, do you know that the prayers I pray for you most of the times, the spirits that are fighting you, they come to fight me. Praise the Lord. As I am praying for all of you, carry your body, pray, pray. The force is fighting you and not happy. And they know that I'm praying. And they are also coming for me. Praise the Lord. So when the pastor is busy praying for you, who prays for the pastor? That is why I'm doing this video to teach you how to pray for your pastor. Pray these prayers for your pastor. Add it to your prayer schedule. Always pray for your pastor. Pray for him to stand strong. Pray for him not to be discouraged. Pray for God to give him the desires of his heart. Yes, your pastor also has prayer requests. Pray for God to answer them. Pray for God to continue to bless him with wisdom. Pray for fresh oil. Pray for fresh anointing. Hallelujah. As we pray these prayers together, I see God answering the prayers of every pastor all around the world. In the mighty name of Jesus. As we pray these prayers together, it's going to answer for every genuine shepherd, for every pastor that is doing the work from the depth of his heart, for every pastor that is sacrificing to see members get to the top, for every pastor in every nook and crannies of the, of the world, in the shanties, in the villages, in, in, in the un unrecognized places, this prayer will answer for them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Are we set to pray these prayers this morning? Now lift up your voice and say with me. Say, Father, I thank you for giving me a pastor after your heart. Pray that prayer right now. Father, I thank you for giving me a pastor after your own heart. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that prayer with all your heart. Pray that prayer with all your heart. Say, Father, I thank you for giving me a pastor after your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 6, 19 to 20 tells us, pray for, pray for us the church to pray for me, for, for him. Colossians chapter 4, verse 3, Paul also urged the church to pray for them. Now say, Father, I thank you for giving me a pastor after your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that prayer with all your heart. Father, I thank you for giving me a pastor. You can mention your pastor's name. You can mention your pastor's name. Pastor, Father, I thank you for giving me Pastor James that is after your heart. Father, I thank you for giving me Pastor Mary that is after your heart. Father, I thank you for giving me a pastor that is after your heart. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me a true shepherd, for giving me a pastor that is after your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pray this next prayer. 
Say, I cover my pastor and his family or her family with the blood of Jesus. Begin to cover your pastor now with the blood of Jesus. Mention his name. I cover my pastor James with the blood of Jesus. I cover my pastor John with the blood of Jesus. I cover my pastor and his family with the blood of Jesus. I cover my pastor and his family, his wife and children, his household. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. Begin to plead the blood of protection upon your pastor. Begin to plead the blood of protection upon your pastor and his family. I cover my pastor and his entire family with the blood of Jesus. I cover my pastor and his entire family with the blood of Jesus. Pray that prayer over your pastor. I cover him with the blood. I cover him with the blood. I cover him with the blood. Leba kabasoka. Leba kabasoka. Mantana basoka. Rebeneke soka. I cover my pastor with the blood of Jesus. I cover his entire family with the blood of Jesus. I cover my pastor with the blood of Jesus. I cover his entire family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Next prayer. Father, continue to grant my pastor wisdom to excel in his calling. Pray for wisdom for your pastor right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to grant my pastor wisdom to excel in his calling. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that prayer child of God. Pray that prayer child of God. Father, continue to grant my pastor wisdom to excel in his calling. In the mighty name of Jesus, grant him wisdom. Grant him wisdom. The young Solomon, when the Lord met him, he said, what do you want? He said, I need wisdom to rule your people effectively. Father, continue to grant your servant and my pastor wisdom to excel in his calling. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray that prayer over your pastor. Pray that prayer over your pastor. Father, continue to grant your pastor, my, my, my pastor, wisdom, wisdom to excel in his calling. In the mighty name of Jesus, continue to grant my pastor wisdom, wisdom, exceptional wisdom, divine wisdom, unlimited wisdom to excel in his calling. In the mighty name of Jesus, continue, continue to grant him wisdom. Continue to grant him wisdom to excel in his call. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Oh God, my Father, deliver my pastor from all forms of temptations. In the mighty name of the prayer, prayer of your pastor right now, Father, deliver my pastor from all forms of temptation. From all forms of temptation. Temptation from the married world. Temptation from the, the evil one. Temptation from witches and wizards. Temptations, Lord. All forms of temptation deliver my pastor. In the mighty name of Jesus, do not let him fall into temptation. Lead him not into temptation, but protect him. When the devil comes, even if the devil appears in, in sheep clothing, Lord, let him have spiritual eyes and spiritual sensitivity to see. Oh Lord, deliver him from sexual temptation. Deliver him from financial temptation. Deliver him from self-righteousness temptation. Deliver him from the spirit of pride. Lord, deliver him from any temptation that will destroy his ministry. In the mighty name of God, deliver him, Lord, by your mercy. Marco Padeco Sedona Manteno, Rebedeco Cradisca Mahande de Macanteno, Rabba Nete Zozoma Radia Catelo, Rabba Nacaleta. Pray, 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 child of God, deliver my pastor from all forms of temptations. In the name of Jesus, Raku Kaba Raku Ka, Zaku Kaba Zaku Ka, Iklanama Iklanama, deliver my pastor. From any forms of temptation, from all forms of temptation, in the mighty name of Jesus, lead him not uh, into temptation, uh, lead him not uh, into temptation. Father, the great man of God has fallen in the past. Uh, let my pastor not be a victim, uh, lead him not into temptation. By your mercy, by your grace, uh, deliver him uh, from all forms of temptations, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. My Father, my Lord, continue to strengthen him 
and uphold him in his walk with you. In the mighty name of just continue to strengthen him. By his own strength, he cannot prevail. By his own might, he cannot prevail. You told Zerubbabel, you told him, he said, not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, say the Lord. Father, continue to strengthen my pastor and uphold him in his walk with you. Continue to strengthen him. Continue to uphold him in his walk with you. Continue to strengthen him. Continue to uphold him in his walk with you. Continue to strengthen him. Continue to uphold him in his walk with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to strengthen him, Lord, of Holy Lord, in his walk with you, in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to strengthen him, Lord, continue to uphold him, Lord, in his walk with you, in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to strengthen him, continue to uphold him, in his walk with you, Lord, strengthen him, Lord, uphold him, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Next prayer. Father, answer all his prayers with speed. Pray that prayer right now, Father. Whenever my pastor goes on his knees to pray to you, whenever he prays to you, Lord, answer his prayers with speed. In the mighty name of God, pray for your pastor right now, Lord. Whatever he prays for, whether he's praying for his personal needs or he's praying for the needs of the church or he's praying for the members, Father, answer his prayers with speed. Answer his prayers with speed. Meet his needs as he's meeting the needs of others. Meet his needs as he's meeting the needs of others. Father, meet his needs as he's meeting the needs of others. You said in your word that he that watereth others shall himself be watered. As your my pastor is meeting the needs of others. As he's watering others, Lord, water him. Meet his needs as he's meeting the needs of others. Meet his needs as he's meeting the needs of others. Meet his needs as he's meeting the needs of others. Visit him, Lord, as he as he's praying for you to visit us, Lord. Meet his needs and answer his prayers with speed. Answer his petitions with speed. Answer his cry with speed. Answer him with speed. Whenever he calls on you, Lord, answer him with speed. Pray that prayer for your pastor. Masoko Parada, Mashaka Parada. Answer him with speed. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Father, always put the right words on his mouth. As he blesses us all the time in the name of those Lord, put the right word. You said he sent for this word as Psalm 107 verse 20. He sent for this word and he healed them and delivered them from his from their destruction. Lord, always put the right word in his mouth. Put the right words in the mouth of my pastor as he declares blessings upon us, as he prays for us. Put the right words in his mouth. Put the word that will change our story. Put the words that will deliver us. Put the word that will bring testimonies in our life. Bring, put the word that will bring healing for us. Put the right words. Put the right words. Put the words in his mouth that will give us direction in life. Put the right words. Put the right words in his mouth. As he declares blessing upon us, put the right words in his mouth. Put the right words in his mouth. Words in season. Words that will deliver us. Words that will rescue us. Put the right words in his mouth as he blesses us, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Father, let your hand of protection never depart from my pastor's life and his family. In the mighty name of God, let your hand of protection never depart from his life and his family. In the mighty name of God, let your hand of protection never depart from his life and his family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Father, fresh oil, ever fresh, fresh anointing upon my pastor. Fresh oil, fresh anointing. Fresh oil, fresh anointing. Fresh oil, fresh anointing, ever fresh, ever fresh upon my pastor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Begin to appreciate the Lord for answer prayers. Father, we give you praise. Blessed be your holy name. Be thou exalted, be thou magnified, be thou glorified. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Child of God, pray these prayers for your pastors as often as you can. Pray for them. They need your prayers. They need your prayers. Many pastors are too lost in praying for members that they forget to pray for themselves. Pray. Pray for your pastors like this and God will reward your diligence on the altar of prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button, 
and you'll be glad you did as you subscribe today. I say God bless you richly in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Remain Pastor Kitu Chinebu, your host at Everyday Prayer Television, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless you.